Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another part of Mega Man Legends. I am your host, Sir Quadge Centrio. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Um, yeah, welcome back to another part of Mega Man Legends. In the last part we saved Clauser Woods from the pirates digging there. In this part we are at the library for some much needed story. Or, uh, much needed information about the story. Alright, just go to this bookcase, hit circle. It's the History of Cadlock's Island, Volume 1. Let's see, this unpopulated island was discovered some hundred years ago. At the time of the discovery, the surface of the island was almost completely covered with ruined buildings. Cadlocks became well known after the discovery of high quality refractors on the island about 60 years ago. Let's keep reading. After the discovery of the presence of refractors, it was also found that the island was riddled with underground ruins. Due to the various unfortunate accidents, which plagued early exploration attempts and the persistence of the rumors of a legendary curse, or disaster, the majority of the ruins were sealed, all from the pub or general public. Thus, digging is permitted in only a limited number of ruins as for the legendary disaster. As for the legendary disaster, it is believed by some that every century an undefined presence that resides beneath the island awakens and destroys all life present on it. Hmm, wasn't there some myth and legend they were talking about, or er, uh, Amelia was talking about? What's this bookcase have to say? The History of Catholic Island, Volume 2. Let's see. Research conducted by the, the current mayor of the island, Professor Amelia. Wait, she's also a professor? Oh, wow. Well. Shows that there are, s there are remnants of several different civilizations on catalogs. In other words, it appears that the previous inhabitants of this island have built a civilization many times, only to have it destroyed each time. This is to be believed to be the origin of the myth of the legend legendary disaster that haunts this island. While there is obviously no scientific proof that the catalog is destined for disaster, Many people who believe in the legend choose to leave the island, and in fact, the decreasing population has become one of the island's major, island's major concerns in recent years. Let's keep reading. The walls and the gates that divide the city into various areas are also remnants of ancient ruins. While continue to function even now, these walls along with the ruins, known as the sub, sub and main gates, are a monument to technological achievements of our ancestor society. Oh, that's some pretty uh, major history lesson there. Well, that's some very, very useful information, actually. It gives us a bit more uh, knowledge about the, the legendary myth that that is under this island. Alright, so now what we're going to do, we really just don't know. But I think what we're going to do is going to start some digging. Yes, that should be fun. The first place I want to dig is where we found the junkyard shop. Oh, uh, man. Remember that spot where said that we're not going to go into yet because we're probably not powerful enough? Yeah, we're going to go there. But first, I want to do a few things, and I guess I'll meet you where we're supposed to be. So, see you guys in just a minute. All right, then we're back. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what I yeah, what I was doing off camera. As you can see, Mega Man has now a machine gun on his arm. That was because I was looking through the trash cans for yet a third time off camera, not this camera, but before I started recording, and I found the part called the Blumberry parts, and then I turned that into the machine gun. Let's see, I bought. I also bought the uh, flak jacket, which reduces damage. I had to get some money, but it was worth it. And I turned the helmet into the or the safety helmet into the helmet for uh, Mega Man, which, as you can see, protects head. But what it does is like make it so you can't get knocked down as easily, and if you will survive a uh, longer di or longer falls. And that's about it for what I did. I'm not going to use the helmet in this right now because I don't think I'll need it. Because, let's face it, Mega Man looks a lot cooler without the helmet. Uh, let's start going here. Let's see what's beyond this door. Hmm. We got a door over there and a crumbly wall that we really can't do anything about. Doesn't look like it. I guess we're gonna have to come back later. What's beyond this door? I have an enemy. A new enemy we haven't seen yet. And he tripped. Hmm. That thing up there, if you shoot that down before you take down the enemy, uh, he will actually stop moving because this is what is giving him signals to do everything. But it doesn't look like we can get up to that door, so we're gonna have to go. So we're gonna have to find out. Uh, we're gonna have to find an alternative route. Uh, look at my map, and this looks like the way out. Looks like the way we came in. So let's go find that door that I mentioned that was right next to the man. 
We got the Reaver bots, not too not difficult at all, just like they were in the first few parts. Whoop, oh, had it. I say you're not too difficult, then you explode in my face. Make me look like a liar. Right, let's try the machine gun out. When I made the machine gun roll, pointed out that it has a high rate of fire, yet it doesn't have much power. And why can I not lock onto this one? Alright, now he's gone. I'm just draining my energy. With, I'm draining my machine gun's energy. Not sure if that's too useful or too helpful for me, but I oh well, might as well use it. Because it doesn't have a lot of power, I might as well use it. Alright, let's head through this door, see what's on the other side. When you dig, you can actually find quite useful items. Like new buster parts, or even new parts that you could use for item development. We've got the new enemies here. Looks like these enemies are invulnerable while they're down, but then when they get up, they'll start walking towards you and they explode when you shoot them. So when you shoot them, you might want to back up if you're close. And why would you like onto the one that's down on the ground rather than the one that's closest to you and trying to get to you? Alright, sometimes, if I remember correctly, sometimes he'll drop some Zenny, but not a lot, and whoa, we got some Reaver bots inside. And a small, narrow tunnel. Oh well. Died just as like any other ones. And here we got the antenna, and thankfully for the sniper unit that we still have equipped, we can take down this antenna with before we even fight the enemy that's in here. And look, now he's useless. He can't move it. He can't move at all. He's just searching for a signal. He's completely useless. He can't do anything. Although he can stand back up if he falls down. But that's about it. That's some poorly designed reaver bots there. Ah, it looks like this one can't see me. Oh well. Sadly, he he will be able to get to me. And uh, I only dropped a bunch of money and let's take down this guy because I can. And nice, drop some zenny and an orange cube. And look at this, we have a chest. A rapid fire, nice. Yeah, yeah, well, it's a buster part. We know how to equip buster parts. I guess you could do this if you really wanted to in like the uh, second part when you had to go save the drunk shop man's husband. For sh <laughs> I said that wrong. He's not a game, but when you had to go save the drunk shop lady's husband, but you know what I mean. But I'd rather not do it because those are some stronger enemies, and I wouldn't recommend taking them down until you were a bit stronger. So that looks like about it for what we can do here. I guess we'll find out how to get a back up on that ledge over in that doorway in a different part. But we're not done here. We're going to do a little bit more exploration. Alright, let's call roll. Because I believe we have to do... I believe that there's a sub gate we're supposed to be going to. But first, let's talk to Data. Alright, now that we have our energy charge, let's talk to Roll and sh like, Yeah. Um, let's upgrade our weapon. And we don't have a lot of money, but let's see what we can upgrade. We can upgrade the range or the special. Firing sp Oh, spread. I thought it said speed, and I was like, wait, doesn't it already have rapid? Oh, let's see that. Let's upgrade a rapid. Or spread, my bad. It looks like all we can... And it looks like that's all we can uh, upgrade. That's good for me. Good enough for me. And if you have a problem with it, then that's your problem. By the way, when you call Col or call roll in this area, she'll take you to the flutter. Um, let's... Wait, no. There's just a little boy. Let's hold a, oh, yeah, head over here. Let's see what's beyond this little mountain range. These little mountains, not really a mountain range. You know what I mean. Um, looks like a wide open field. Um, we got this little cave and we got a subgate over there. Let's go explore that before we go beyond that cave. Might find something useful in here. Like that rapid fire, which I don't think I'll be using. Hmm, maybe not yet at least. One door. Alright then, let's go through it and see what's on the other side. Hmm, an enemy. One that we're familiar with, and I heard a second one. Where'd he go? Oh, there they are. Down you go. Let's see. Not too powerful, but I like it because it's just a rapid fire. Mayhem. Just rapid fire mayhem, that's all machine gun is. 
And it doesn't look like we can jump up there. If only we had something to make us jump higher. Uh, but there is a door here. Let's see where this takes us. Hmm, I got that thing, which always dropped that big one. That big freaking refractor shard. And if you really want some money, you can just exit this area, go back in, and take down that little tiny creature. And uh, Reaver bot. They always drop that big zenny if you really need money. I'm not exactly sure how much that is, but I think it's 2,000. But I'm not sure on that. Let's just find out. 4,000? 5,000, no, it's just 1,000. Must be those green ones that are worth like a uh, hundred or something. Because those tiny blue ones are worth 50, I think. Uh, I can't remember. Let's see. Hmm, that doesn't look too friendly. What do we have here? Looks like the only thing we can go is up this ramp. Onto this ledge. This doesn't look too hard. Alright, that was easy. <laughs> Let's see how... Wait, what's this? Oh my god! That thing doesn't look too friendly. Let's fight it. I remember the first time I got here as a tiny kid, and I was completely scared and oh my god, it dropped all this money. Oh my god. Run away! Run away, run away, run away, why do you take off the landmines? Alright, let's let's get into a fair fight. Let's wait for him. Bring it on. I'm gonna take you. Oh, and now I can shoot its fist at me? It's upgraded version of the last one we fought. But it still fights the same way and still just as easy. It's just that little tiny narrow hallway that you have to avoid. Let's see. Let's take you down. I usually don't actually go into this area until like much later in the game when I'm a lot, lot stronger, but I think they put this area in here just for what I'm doing, like this part of the game. This guy should be a should be able to take this guy down, no problem. Just move left and right, just like the first boss we fought. Just without any music in the background. Oh, but he does have a lot of health. If only I could see a health bar. And down he goes! Oh my god, I thought they I thought he launched that at me. Then you get a big orange cube if you lost any health in that part. That uh, butt fight. Alright, now that he's down, let's continue on through this doorway that I saw right before he charged. And what do we have here? Reaver bots. Oh, come on, we fought much harder than that. What I love about these, uh, those little spinny club pendulum things, I don't know what you'd call them. They can actually hit the enemies, just and just agitate them a little bit and they'll charge right into it. And it's actually very useful for an enemy that you will see, you might see later on, maybe, probably not this part, but maybe in a, a few extra parts, or a few parts later. Uh, more easy reaver bots and narrow hallways. Uh, just keep going. And what do we have here? Oh. Ouch. Looks like we have three of them. We should be able to take them on easily. As long as they don't run into us. Alright. Come on. You're no match for me. Wait. I got that backwards. I'm no match for them. Why am I getting my words backwards today? Come on. It almost, it almost jumped into me. Down there. Down goes that one, down goes that one. And we get even more rich. And we get richer. I might as well take down these things for some extra money. Yeah, but they do have quite a bit of health, actually. Um, if I remember correctly, in this room, I think it's the one chest over way over there. Or maybe it's this chest. It, but there's like a trap chest. Oh, it's not that. And it gave us some money, hooray. Take you down. Oh, I love the machine gun already. It just needs to be a bit stronger. And that's what the spread does, it just makes it spread out a little bit. Down it goes. Alright, we're nearing the 15 minute mark. Um, I don't want to go any further into this cave, or this uh, gate, or the ruins until the next part, because I don't want this to go any further. I don't want. I don't want this part to go any longer than 15 minutes, but it's going to anyway because I'm trying to explain my final words for this part.
Um, so next time on Font, uh, I'm, uh, uh, Mega Man Legends, we continue on through this ruin and see what else we can find. Alright, should be fun. See you guys then.